We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at the shoe. The shoe is an RTA out of Italy and you get it through a Facebook group. I'm not going to tell you what Facebook group it comes from because my Italian just sounds like a drunk Australian. Uh, but there'll be a name here somewhere so you know where to go to. Uh, this was sent on direct by the modder with the help of Serge. Uh, Serge, as always, you are a, a gentleman and a scholar. And I am just going to waffle no more. We're just going to go straight for close-ups. So here we go with the shoe, the atomizer of the gods, no less. Now this is, I think it's 139 euros. Uh, it's 10 euros shipping in Italy, uh, but it may cost you slightly more depending on the shipping service you go for. And this can only be bought through the Facebook group. Opening her up, we've got a magnetic flap on the front, pull her back, and we have a certificate of authenticity. And this will be my serial number here. So underneath the bubble wrap, you get your Atti. So this is 316 stainless steel. This is all done in Italy. Even the glass is done in Italy. It's hand blown glass. Uh, you, there may be some slight imperfections in it, but it's like all hand done. Uh, this is, I'll, I'll say this now. Um, this is, whilst this is, yeah, it's just an RTA at the end of the day, but there, there's a couple of things on it that uh, it, and I don't mean this as a negative thing, but it feels like something that was made in somebody's workshop in their back garden. That, and once again, that, that is not a, a negative feedback. For me, it's more positive. It just does not feel like something that was mass produced. I mean, the tank itself is, uh, I'm pretty sure that it narrows down to about 22 at the bottom here. But for me, this is essentially, it comes out, this is a 23 millimeter at it, or just slightly under 23 mil. Height wise, not including the 510 or the drip tip, you're looking just a tad over 43 millimeters in height. The one I have here is the, the polished one, uh, and I'm already getting fingerprints all over it. I apologize. Uh, but there is another version as well, and it's, it's like, you know, you're media blasted. I think it's, um, what do they call it, micro shot uh, blasted. Uh, but you'll have seen that before. It looks like a, almost like a dark grey. But aside from this, uh, you get, obviously you get this drip tip, but I'll show you everything else in the box. We have an Allen key. We have a Phillips screwdriver here. We have two spare pieces of glass. Once again, hand blown glass this. Uh, the tank capacity is 3.5 millimeters. And we also have a couple of baggies here. We've got lots of spare O-rings, post screws and so on. And also air reducers. And we also have another mouthpiece here. And I'm pretty sure this is a palm drip tip, but uh, just I'll just open this up just now. It's not one I've been using, but it's got a slight, looks like a slightly narrower bore to the stainless steel one. In fact, I apologize. I should really measure this out just to be sure. So that's 3.74 for the palm one. And for the stainless steel one, it's coming out at 4.71 millimeters on the inner bore. Now I'm going to strip this down. Uh, take this to bits all together. We're just going to pull this drip tip out, pop that down there. Uh, to fill this up, you just unscrew this top section here and you fill through the kidney holes here. I will say, uh, I mean, you've got an O-ring here. When you screw this down, uh, don't crank it down. Um, you know, just putting it down like that. That's just making a resistance there. There's, there's no reason to crank it down because if you do crank it down, it, it will bind and it can be a bit of a pain to get it back off. So just lightly closing it and that's all it needs. And uh, I will also point out that whilst this arrived in beautiful condition, uh, yes, as is my way, I, I've already dropped it and, and I, I dinged it. That was me. Um, I, I humbly apologise. <laughs> but uh, we'll get the tank off here. So that section comes off like that. We then have a tank like that. And then I'm just gonna, hopefully I can get this off with my fingernails here. She is gonna come out. There we go. And the deck comes out. Yes, the deck is held on by O-rings. That's it, it's held on by O-rings. Uh, excuse, I've got a little bit of water going on there where uh, I've just cleaned this. And, uh, and there we go, you can see you've got two wicking holes here. 
and you can actually close one of them off if you want because this is predominantly a mouth to lung tank and if you do not want both these holes for wicking you can stick a little screw in here and close one off. I'm guessing here as I can't get my calipers in there but I'm pretty sure that these are two millimeters in diameter uh, those wicking holes here and also the bore on the chimney is 4.25 millimeters so bore on the chimney and uh, that's it that's the tank broken down. You can see it's really easy to take the bits. This thing's no big deal. Uh, we'll actually take, yeah, we'll go all the way. So we'll undo the 510 screw, which is, I must say, is, yeah, it, it's, it doesn't stick out very far at all, uh, which is a bit of a concern. I would like to, if that was just a little bit more pronounced there. Uh, we also do have, you know, the name of the atty uh, and so on on the bottom. But we'll just take this pin out and that allows me to get in at the peak insulator there. There's your positive connection and if I wanted to I could uh, poke this down and oh, it's just made a break for it. And there we go, there's our 510 pin peak insulator and I think there's a little o-ring just in the bottom there. And you can see that this is made from a one piece here. I'm going to stress this again, this base is held on with o-rings, no leaks. Not one single leak in this thing. Uh, it's quite surprising. But uh, I'll put this back together and uh, we'll have a talk about setting it up. Now just checking here, I have backed off that just a tiny little bit and it has given that, you know, I've got a little bit more on the 510 there. So I'm checking this out because once again it just did bother me that, it, you know, it wasn't sticking out very far. So that is okay there just now. And just checking the positive post you know, there's hardly any movement in there at all, but I have not tightened this right down. Uh, tightening it right down and, um, yeah, it just, just sticks out just a tiny little bit. Now, there was another Allen key in the little tool bag uh, with all the spares. And you can see here that I can take this and I can pop it in there, thread this down, and I can close off one of the wick holes if I so desire, like that. Uh, I've been using 50-50 and also 70-30 uh, on the VG side uh, with them both open and not found any issues but I suppose it depends on you know the airflow you're going to go for because obviously you can go from 0 0.8 to 1.5 depending on the air you're drawing through this you may want to close one of these off. So just screwing this back together we best talk about the airflow. So here we go, uh, this is the airflow here and I can get my Allen key and just unscrew this and out she comes. So the pins that we have here are 0 0.8, 1 mil, 1.2 and 1.5. Uh, I'll cover this more at the end but the 1.5 at its loosest, loosest <laughs> this is you know a lot of the pod systems that they have out these days and they say oh this is a mouth to lung and it is really really loose well that's how open this is at at its most open um, it is a true 0 0.8 a true 1 mil this is uh, this is a superb mouth to lung little tank this it really is and and also you can if you want if you're crazy enough you can leave that out and you can it sounds really noisy. I will say it's very, very turbulent if you leave it out. But um, yeah, I think most people are going to be buying this for the mouth to lung aspect. So I'm just popping in the 0 0.8 here because that is how I've been running with this. And it's a tiny little air hole there. And you can see where it comes into the chamber. And uh, yes, this really is a true 0 0.8. Now, as far as the deck goes, uh, obviously we have two posts here. We've got our holes for our coils to go through and I have had um, a 0 0.8 ohm 3mm ID fuse clapped in, in here specifically designed by PC coils for mouth to lung uh, but it still fits in here and I was still able to run it uh, quite happily no issues whatsoever so you can have normal mouth to lung wire, you know, just simple round wire, thin wire, uh, inner wire, whatever you use, and you can have you know, wire for simple small fuse claptons, but they do all fit in here. You can see we've got the coil rod holder there, so that gives you an idea where your coil is going to go. You can see your coil sitting more towards the front here, so it's going to be just almost right in front of that air hole and slightly above it. Uh, 
super easy to put a coil in here very very easy you'll see in the bottom you have two little tiny little holes in there wicking holes because this is it's a GTA deck essentially so you can see your juice is actually going to be coming through the bottom here and you wick it up through these holes if you look at the chamber you can see how domed this is this is there's no heat transfer in this at all uh, at all uh, this does not get warm this so when you look at this you think oh this is going to be sitting quite far down but when you put the two of them side by side like this you get an idea how your build is going to work so i will be using one of these now i know i have been using 2.5 mil ids i've used a 1.5 ohm coil in here and a higher 1.8 ohm coil in here with but i will say i really enjoy this coil in this tank with my heavier vg so that's what i'm going to use just now because i will be vaping this after the review is finished i really cannot stress how easy it is to build in this thing and uh, i'm going to be using the coiling rod holder there you can see i can just pop my finger on it and then i'm just going to tighten up these two screws with the supplied screwdriver snip the legs off there we go. So I'm putting this on uh, my visionary mod, my Bally just now, and uh, give that a little puff, pulse it, and we've got all the hot spots out, and we'll just get some cotton in it now. So I'm just pulling some cotton through there just now using the old Cloud Nine. Uh, I'm just going to snip this off. This is a uh, well, I, I think it's a very very simple and straightforward tank to set up and wick do my usual cutting it up at a 45 degree angle like that there's a little bit too much there there we go and then just lightly tucking it down and placing it just so my tails are, are touching on that little wick hole there so just give a little test fire I'm just at 16 watts here just now and that is perfect now you will see there is a line here uh, and obviously this is telling you where the front is and where you want your air to go through so basically you're going to line that up with here and it just makes sure everything's lining up here and on she goes now there's no lock on this but uh, it, you know some people do like you can kind of turn it just a little bit and just increase get a little bit more harshness I, i'm not a fan of that uh, i like to keep it just straight on but um there is no lock I have not come across a time where I've gone to unscrew it and it's spun, you know, and left the deck on. For whatever reason, the O-ring tolerances on this are perfect. Um, the bottom always comes off, uh, the tank pulls off, there's never ever leaking, it just does it properly. So I'll pop some juice in here, I'm going to use some canteen uh, e-liquid in here that I've been enjoying. There we go, once again. As soon as you feel a resistance, that's it. Just leave it. I'll use the stainless steel drip tip uh, because I, I, I like it. And, um, and make sure we're all lined up. And just giving it a wipe down. And that is the shoe RTA all set up on the Bally. And uh, that's a beautiful setup in my opinion. But right, let's go for a vape. Now you may have got the gist of how I feel about this uh, from the close-ups uh, but uh, we'll have a vape to begin with just to make sure that you know that this is a true 0.8 because these things matter if you're a mouth to lunger uh, so once again this is a 0.8 ohm coil yes it's 3 mil ID and yes it's a fuse clapton and I'm vaping it at 16 watts and Oh yes, this is one of the, I'll tell you what, this is the mouth to lung tank that I'm going to keep from this year. Uh, I, I have here behind me, I have tanks that will do mouth to lung with inserts and so on and so forth. Um, but for me, they work better as restricted direct lung or direct lung. I haven't kept a tank that I would call a specific mouth to lung tank. This one, I am. I so enjoy this. Uh, the flavour from it is superb and it takes me back to a mouth to lung vape from back in the oldy times when I first started vaping. I truly, truly enjoy this and it is 
Yes. Very good. Um, so 0 0.8 to 1.5 and you've got the various inserts and it covers that little spectrum just fine. Uh, at its most open, it's a loose mouth to lung. In fact, some people might consider it still a tight mouth to lung, but it is, it's a loose mouth to lung. But you can go 0 0.8 right through to 1.5 and you just change out the pin. That, it's that easy, it really is. Once again, you can run it without the pin. Um, and you can get a fair old whap in this, but it's very noisy, very turbulent, and I wouldn't recommend it. But I wouldn't mind getting maybe a 2mm or a 2.5 drilled out and, and see what it's like, because I think this would work really well because and there's no heat transfer or anything like that there's no heat coming through this at all um but yes i would like to try it possibly if they ever did it down the line just a, a bigger insert uh, so flavor throat hit everything superb there's no harshness it's just a i can get a good throat hit on it with a want it depending on the coil position and yeah flavor and all that jazz just tick 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 um Looks, um, it, it's a tall one for three and a half. You know, it's not the smallest. And once again, I'm pretty sure at the base it's tucked in a little bit. It's 22 mil, but it does come out to 23. Construction on this one, finishing and everything is, and I said this in the close-ups, I am not, this is not a negative. This is not a negative in any shape or form. This does not feel like a mass-produced Atty. And it's not mass produced. Um, it feels like there were human hands touched this during the construction phase. The, the finishing and everything is not what you would call 100% perfect. Um, it's very, very good, but you can tell there was hands involved in the construction of this RTA. And for me, that's a good thing. Uh, it just yeah, it feels like something Bob made in his shed next door, and, and I love it for that. Uh, the the, the O-ring tolerances are incredible. Um, all, I can every time I go to unscrew, the whole thing unscrews. The deck's just held on by O-rings, but every time the whole thing unscrews, and I can. Pull the deck off like that. that, that's me, I'm straight in at my build. I never get any leaking in here at all. Obviously, as I said, excuse me while I try and put this back on without putting my glasses on, uh, that's me back together. Uh, even with 50-50, I never found the need to block off one of the, the juice holes. Um, maybe if you are going up higher, and you're maybe using the 0 0.8 all the time, you may want to close one of them off, but the option is there. Uh, I've got to stop vaping it. Negatives, um, listen, uh, you saw everything up close. You saw everything up close. Uh, there's not going to be a great deal of these made, and they're only available through a Facebook group. Um, I, 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 I no, I've nothing. I've nothing for you. This is just exactly what you see on screen. It is a fantastic mouth to lung tank. Wait, stop. I did find the negative or remember the negative. Um, because the deck is all held on by O-rings and yes, the tolerances are all spot on and it's lovely. Uh, there is just a little, well, there is, there's a fair bit of play like that side to side um, and just don't do that um, if you just use it normally and just vape away with it then you'll never notice but if you grab the drip tip and move it side to side then you you will see there is playing it there so there is the con you can do your traditional mouth to lung builds in this i mean i've had an inner wire build in it at 2.5 i never did a two mil build uh, I never did a 2mm inner diameter build and that. It's the only one I didn't do. Uh, but I've had up to 1.8 ohm, 1.5 ohm and this 0 0.8 ohm builds in here. And thoroughly enjoyed each one. Uh, I'm going to stop because I'll just gush. Um, trying to think of negatives. 
because you get three glass tanks with it. Um, and, and you know, the proper glass tanks, hand-blown glass tanks, and all the tools and the inserts and, and a better go. Once again, thank you to the guys that make this Atty for sending it on. I'm not going to try and butcher your name here because that would just be embarrassing. Serge, uh, thank you to you once again who, yeah, always a star and helps me out a great deal. Um, check it out, please. And uh, see what other people are saying in the Facebook group. As always, um, I could be completely wrong. Um, I don't know if there are any other English reviews, but um, there, there are, I think there's some Italian reviews. I know they use this a lot for net liquids and things like that. Uh, but the chamber, the everything is just two thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you for watching this gush fest. And until next time, bye for now.